All right, well, since my technology failed, we went ahead to uh, the blockchain site, copied my Bitcoin URL, and then went to one of the Bitcoin generators. It's like the first, if you search for a Bitcoin QR generator, it's the first option. And it's pretty cool. It actually prints up the, uh, the code so you can have little graphics in the center of them, which is kind of neat. And there's different Bitcoin-related graphics. One of them even has the full word Bitcoin across the center. So anyway, let's give this another go here. So we're going to get started as though we're just some normal customer. And scan your QR code. Yep, okay. Address detected. There's my FTL EN custom thing there, so it looks like the right address. Yep. All right, we're waiting, I think. Insert bills. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. We're going to try $10 worth. And this uh, acceptor says that it can accept them any direction, so there's no like specification there. $10 USD, that currently will buy that amount of Bitcoins. It will be sent to my blockchain address. I'm going to go ahead and hit buy. And then maybe if the blockchain app is actually still working, no, it's not. Okay, transaction complete. Email me a receipt. Now, this is actually the email address that is set in the device, so it'll be interesting. It should, I guess, email me something from my own email address. Oops. Wah. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh, good. Invalid email. Sent, done. Now, presumably, when I check my blockchain account, should be uh, $10 in there. So, do you want to do that now? Yeah. All right. Why don't you cut a 